everybody. Thanks for stopping by today. Really excited to have you here. Uh, new speakers came. Adam T8Vs, really excited. Uh, it's gonna be great using them here and uh, got to play with them a little bit last night and a little bit here in the morning, but uh, yeah, it's great. So I'm gonna be telling you about those a little bit today. I'm gonna play uh, one of the songs I've been working on uh, so you can kind of get a little bit of an idea how they sound. And you'll get to hear one of my fun songs I put together. I did a couple weeks ago just for fun. It's not something I'm like super stoked on. It's just something I wrote and was like, let's just write this. And it's kind of fun, kind of cool. Um, so yes, yeah, so we'll be listening to that. I'll be telling you a story how I got them. Uh, first thing, just disclaimer, like I'm not sponsored by Adam. Don't have any kind of uh, relationship with them. Um, and I'll get into how I got these, but um, just so you know that is, this is just me in my little studio here, uh, just being stoked about new monitors. <laughs> so I'll be, I'll, just to throw that out there, it's not a treated room, I'm not using special mics to mic these up. You know, you're gonna see a lot of other reviews out there on these guys, and you'll get, they'll get a lot more in depth than I'm gonna get. Um, but this will just give you an idea of what I'm using now. And you know, my next video coming up, I'm gonna go over everything I use in my little studio here. And I really wanna get all that kind of done so we can get into the fun part where we're just, you can watch me record stuff and uh, listen to some of the music that I'm working on. That's really what I'm excited about, showing everybody. So um, that's my disclaimer. So let me, um, let me just tell you the story about how I ended up getting these. I've been looking at monitors for a while uh, checked out a lot of different stuff. Uh, I went to a store, I got to listen to a couple different things. And after reading a lot and list what I listened to, I really had settled on the T5V that Adam does in their T-Series. Uh, just the price was where I wanted to be at, but specifically I just liked the idea of what they do in the high end with their, uh, the tweeters. It's a little different, it's a lot different than everybody else. Um, you know, most of them, they do, uh, cones similar to this. We'll have like a cone up top. They actually take, a, a material poly mead material and they fold it up. Um, so inside there, it's just all these folded pieces of this material. And what that does when they do that, they say it pushes more air and you'll get more detail in the high end. So why is that important? Well, it's supposed to make it so you can listen longer. You'll get higher detail and uh, it'll fatigue your ears less because you're just not slamming and having to keep turning things up, which I always do. I always, you know, guitar players, we like to put everything on 11 or 12 if we can <laughs> and get yelled at by the sound guy for that. But um, yeah, so... <laughs> That's the, that's the reason they do that. It's just gonna be less fatigue on your ears. And just by listening to them now, uh, I can, oh, it's light years better than me mixing with my headphones and it's just night and day. So I really, uh, that's why I was, one of the reasons I was really drawn to them, just that aspect I think is really cool. So I set on T5Vs and uh, I was kind of saving some pennies to make sure uh, I could go get these and uh, in that time when I was saving, I ended up, I was on uh, Kevin Shirley's Instagram page. Um, if you, for those who don't know Kevin Shirley, so he has produced like the Black Crows. Um, I first came kind of aware who he was with uh, Joe Bonamassa because he's done a bunch of stuff with him and I love Joe. Um, so I, that's where I kind of became aware of him. And then I ended up finding out he did how the West was one, the Zeppelin, um, when they redid a bunch of stuff with that, which is, uh, really excellent. If, if a lot of people, I see, a lot of people are Zep fans. Some people are like ah, I hate Led Zeppelin, or whatever. If you listen to that, and you listen to how they did the ocean on there. It's just it's one of my favorite versions of that song. And if you're not a Zep fan after listening to the Ocean on How the West Was Won, there's something wrong with you. Okay, there's something wrong with you. So, <laughs> um, anyways, uh, I really, uh, I really like. Kevin's stuff and then you know I follow him on Instagram and he had posted a picture of his uh, SSL uh, he has he still mixes on a big desk 
a lot of guys mix what they call in the box. They're mixing the computer, but he uses a desk still and computers too for some stuff. But he just added on to this SSL um, desk he's using and he expanded it to 72 channels, which is like longer than my room here. It's huge. So he put a cool picture. I think he's in Australia is what it is. But if you look out his window, you can see right, he's right at the beach. So it's like there's a walkway and the beach. It was a beautiful picture. And I said, hey, uh, Kevin, that's great. You know, it's got to be amazing working on that. Uh, you know, what do you recommend for monitors, though? Like for somebody that I think I put in there, somebody starting out. And, and uh, it was cool. He replied back. He said, uh, hey, Arlo. Um, I really like to just get a cheap set of, uh, of the KRKs. I like doing those because um, I know what they sound like. And uh, if I can make them sound good on those inexpensive uh, speakers, then I can make it sound good for you know the car. Everybody's listening on different stuff. It's not like everybody's listening on hi-fi, you know, turntables and vinyl anymore. It's like little Bluetooth speakers and all kinds of stuff. So I think uh, engineers now, they kind of struggle to make it. Uh, well, he doesn't struggle, but some of them, it's just getting it to uh, work on a lot of different uh, listening environments and things. So he said to do that, get a cheap pair of KRKs. Now I'm like, oh, he's telling me this. Now, but I really wanted those Adam T5s. So I was still like, I think I'm still going to do the T5s. And then how I ended up getting these, I was on a webinar a couple weeks ago and uh, Adam had a webinar where they had five or six different home, well, they were, some guys started a home studio type thing, but then they, they made their studios to where they were more pro, like some of them might've been pro, like I can't remember what, but, but they were, they were that definitely next level stuff and they were just talking about recording and uh, they were giving away uh, two sets of these and I put my name in and then the next day I got an email from Kelsey at Adam. Thank you, Kelsey. And uh, she helped me uh, help get them here to me. She's like, hey, Arlie, you won. I was like, what? Um, so that's pretty sweet. I was really excited about that. Um, I, was, I was like, oh, the eights, are they gonna be too big for this room in here? And they're really not at all um, for what I'm doing. I'm listening still fairly quiet. Um, I did get a little decibel thing for my iPhone to measure. Um, so I was sitting here the other night and I was getting around 75 dB, 80 to check. So I was kind of hanging in there and I could hear everything really good and I was surprised at how really quiet it was um, compared to what my headphones do to my, they just jiggle my brain around in there because <laughs> they're so loud. Um, but they sound great. So that's how I ended up getting them. Um, they came this week. It was a bummer because FedEx dropped one off on Monday. And I, I was like, there should be two. And the guy's like, no, I just got one in the truck. I'm like, okay, that's, I need two. <laughs> and then I checked the track and I'm like, oh, the other one's coming tomorrow. So next one, next day, the other one showed up. So they're both here now easy to get set up for me you know again the room's not treated but the only thing is if you get these you still got to get the cables to connect from your interface to the speaker um, I did a balance cable it's a tip ring sleeve from the interface into the XLR into the into the back of that so just you're gonna have to get a hold of your buddies at Sweetwater your local store there and uh, and just get cables too which I got those pretty quick yeah so um, that's the story with uh, how I got them uh, so I'm gonna give you a listen. This is a song I did a couple weeks ago, uh, just a fun tune. I put a uh, there's a thing I did with my voice where I kind of squash it, so it sounds real distorted. So if you're wondering why, I used uh, Shep's the Omni Channel to just go make it sound a little bit different. So uh, here we go. Let's just a little listen. <laughs> Supreme. 
and roll train If you listen closely You can hear them still Angus and Malcolm speakers totally stoked again not uh any special recording there so definitely you're gonna need to check out some other videos if you want to get a really true listen but i wanted to just drop you into here so you can kind of get a little bit of a feel i'm gonna be having when i'm sitting here um listening uh so really excited uh really excited to have them thank you so much adam audio uh for giving me these and i'm definitely gonna be uh you know lifelong uh friend for you guys because I just this is huge and I really really appreciate it so thank you so much um, thank you Kelsey uh, from Adam for helping get these to me and uh, really stoked so thank you so much um, you know my again my next video I'm gonna do uh, it's gonna just we're gonna go through all the stuff I'm using to, to record and then after that then we're gonna I'm gonna be showing you just we're gonna sit and record some things and uh, show you how I go about that, my process, and how I come up with ideas. Uh, so it's gonna be fun. So definitely hit the subscribe button and the little bell there because I'll tell you when uh, the next episode's coming up. And uh, if, definitely leave comments if you have some, if you have any questions on anything. Um, definitely would love to hear uh, any feedback anybody has for questions. So thanks so much. Uh, hope you guys get to play some guitar today. Uh, I'm gonna jam a little bit more here. So uh, have a great day. Thank you.